Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on this channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at this new kind of security response update that we started receiving. So as you can see from the screenshot I had taken, so it says iOS security response 16.2a and it came in about 78.6 MB on my iPhone XR. I also had installed the same update on my iPhone 12. It came in about, you know, the similar size, 78 MB. And if you're having any other device than iPhone 10 or 11 or 12, the update size should be between 75 to 100 MB. So in this video, we're going to talk about and take a look at the, you know, what are the changes with this security response update? What exactly are this security response update and how you can install this kind of security response update? So make sure you watch this video till the end. This video is going to be quick and short but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so in this video not only i'm going to talk about the changes i'm going to also show you the real-time updates as you can see i'm in my settings general and if i click on software updates i just had downloaded the 78.6 mb of update as you can see it is already downloaded and it clearly says this is a rapid security response that provides important security fixes and it's recommended for all users and if i go to the support.apple.com it directly takes you to the ios security beta updates but you know unfortunately nothing is mentioned about this uh, when apple released ios 16 they talked about this kind of security response uh, if you want to receive this update what you have to do uh, click on the software update and need to check on this automatic updates you need to make sure that security response and system files this is checked so if this is not checked you should not be able to receive this update so make sure along in this automatic updates along with the other things the security response and system file is checked so once this is checked you can check for the security update now one thing to make sure that right now i am on ios 16.2 that means if i show you if i go to the general vpn and device management i have a ios 16 beta profile installed on my iphone so if you're on like ios 16.1 or iOS 16.1.1 or maybe a part of stable series of update then this update is not for you this is as of now only released for the beta testers so if you have iOS 16 beta profile installed on your iPhone then only you will be able to receive this update so in this video I thought this is first of its kind so let's do one thing let's you know download and install this update and show you the live process because I have installed this already on my iPhone 12 and the process was very quick so let me click on install and let me put the passcode and let's see how much time it takes so this is just like installing your regular updates but this should be even quicker and faster so as you can see i clicked on the install now and i'm not forwarding the video so that i can show you in real time how much time it takes to reboot the device it should be fairly quick i mean i have done the same for my iphone 12 it did not take much time it took about you know one minute of time as you can see the apple logo came up and it should you know reboot in just about a minute it. so let's see how much time this takes because i wanted to show this in real time and this is first of its kind so maybe in future we can expect that we can have this kind of updates for stable series of updates so as you can see it just about we were talking and the phone got rebooted let me put the passcode and let me show you what are the changes so the phone got rebooted let me go to the settings and general if i go to the about section as you can see Instead of iOS 16.2, you get to see the iOS version says iOS 16.2a. So if I take a look at the build number, there are two build number. One is for your regular iOS 16.2 beta 3 build number that is 20C5049E and the other one is 16.2a build number which is a long one which starts with 20c 77504490e so it clearly says this is a rapid security response but as of now the good thing is that if you want you can actually remove this security response which i'm not going to do but at least with this beta test i mean i'm thinking that apple is just testing this out with the beta testers and the people who are actually part of this developers or beta programs so they're just testing this out so if you want you can actually remove this kind of security response once you install as well so with the help of this video i just wanted to let you know that uh, yesterday night we have received ios 16.2 rapid response update there is no difference as such no new features this is just a you know security fix so instead of just waiting for few weeks or few months apple has decided to 
dispatch something very quick or very urgent so they will provide us this kind of security response updates so that's it for this video if you are a part of beta program then definitely check for this ios 16.2 uh, a update which is a security response update and fairly it should be installed quickly and to verify you have to come to the ios version and make sure you have two build number one is for your regular ios 16.2 build number and the other one is for ios 16.2 a so that's it for this video this video was short and quick enough i hope you have enjoyed the video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already because this gives me a lot of motivation to make more of such kind of videos on youtube now with that being said i will see you on my next video bye bye